Hey, this is Craig Dirk Seide with the Grand Strand Real Estate Man Team. A lot of people want to know, should I price my house a little bit high and then lower it little by little until we find a buyer? Sometimes that's not always the best strategy. Here's my team member, Ellen Marks, to explain how to price your home. Ellen? Some unsuccessful sellers try to test the waters by pricing the house too high with the hopes that they'll find a buyer who's willing to pay more than the house is worth. The worst mistake a seller can make is thinking that there's no harm in price reductions later on. This is a classic pitfall that can lead to actually getting less for the house than it was worth to begin with. Sometimes price reductions are necessary, especially if your house isn't getting offers. But price reductions are a fallback strategy because they have drawbacks. Price reductions can make a buyer think one of three thoughts. What's wrong with this house? Let's wait to see if they lower it more. Let's put in a lowball offer to see how low they'll go. If your house does sell after price reductions, it could actually be for much less that you would have gotten if you'd listened to the market. 